Good morning YouTube, welcome to the Reptile Barn. I just want to take you through a quick look of some of our breedings and give you an update as far as where we're at with the breeding season here in 2018. So uh, the reason I want to do this is because some of our females are start starting to show some behavioral changes uh, and it's kind of like the first step that we look for during the breeding season to see which females are progressing. Uh, so I'll pick up the camera here. We'll go take a look. Oh, you may not have seen, we put a, I think an Instagram up, but we have captured some lockups with our Dominicans. They've been doing awesome. So, really happy about that. One of these times I'll have to come in here during the night so you can see how red they get during the night time. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, so that's you know the first item of uh, updating. But as far as the ball pythons go, uh, what we are seeing is that several females. Whew, you see how her bedding here in the front's all wet and how it's all shoved around in the back. Uh, this girl is actually super sweet, but she's been just absolutely food crazed recently. If I go any closer she, she'll just start striking at me. It's pretty amazing. She is such a friendly snake but if she thinks there's even a chance of getting fed right now she wants it. She's been eating two rats per feeding. She's also been soaking which is why this water is all or this bedding is all wet. Um, and that soaking and bowl wrapping and just sitting in the cool end of the cage in general is the first thing that we've been noticing. She's been exhibiting it a lot. Monique, our cinnamon girl, has been way up front, just cold as side she can get. She's been soaking a little bit, bowl wrapping. Uh, she's been bred by our desert ghost several times, which we're pretty excited about. Oh, she's such a beautiful girl. Let me pull her out real quick. Come here, little lady. She's about, I don't know, 1,700 grams maybe. She's a perfect example of the cinnamon gene. We love this girl. And cinnamon desert ghosts are just fantastic. Put her back down. Here you go. So she's coming along nicely. Who else? Oh, our Volta girl has locked up several times. She's actually in the back right now, but she's also been showing some good signs. Um, she's been off feed for several weeks. That's another thing I wanted to talk about. When the females are around 20 millimeters, their follicles, you know, kind of like the little pre-eggs, they go off feed generally. Uh, not you know, 100% of the time, but so far in our experience, every female that lays eggs, somewhere around 20 millimeters, uh, they go off feed. And we now have five or six females that have just refused food for several weeks in a row, including some that are spectacular eaters. So we're, the kind of first group of females is reaching that critical stage where uh, they're definitely building, the follicles are there, uh, they're, they're starting to swell, their bodies are a little bit fuller looking. They're going off feed, they're uh, cool seeking, so it's crucial that we be cycling our males through uh, to make sure they take and have viable sperm uh, to fertilize the eggs when they're ready. Uh, we haven't seen any ovulations yet, it's still early, it's only middle of January, uh, but hopefully soon uh, the rest of our females that we're looking to get eggs from will kind of reach this same stage. Some of them aren't there yet and that's fine. Um, it's kind of funny, two years ago, it seems like all of our snakes went late. There were some that we had just given up on, we're sure they weren't going to lay, and then they did. Last year seemed about normal, and this year seems like it's even earlier than last year. So we've gone all the way from kind of late till what I would consider, for us at least, a little bit early. Which, can't complain about. Uh, sooner we get eggs, better. Uh, we're always excited to get eggs. So I'll show you a couple more. 
that we think are uh, getting further along in the stages of development. This is Olive, our Het Ultramel, and while she is also highly interested in food, and I apologize, her cage is a mess, she was just breeding, and for some reason, I don't think it's musk necessarily, but they seem to give off this, this stuff that looks, it's pretty much just like their urates, and they smear it all around, and they waggle their tails, and push all their bedding around, so I apologize, it's a mess in this cage, but, uh, if I get much closer, she's going to take a whack at the camera here. But look at her body. This isn't our biggest female by any means. Uh, she's a full adult. She's laid eggs for us before, but she never gets huge. You know, She never has passed 18 or 1900 grams, uh, but her body looks so full. I, I hope you can see that. She just, her spine is, you can't really even see it. She just looks round like a huge sausage. Yeah, she's definitely coming out here. Um... And that's what we want to see. Uh, we want to see that big, full body. And, you know, they're different females are different sizes. It's okay that she's not, you know, 3,000 grams like the girl right above her, which I'll show you here in a sec. This is Fat Sally. Oh, she's just a mongo. And her body also, nice and rounded. You can see... There's no real peaking there. Now right before they lay their eggs, uh, and the, when the eggs kind of sink down into the lower part of their abdomen, then their spine does peak. But right now when they're just in the building phase and they haven't ovulated, uh, we like their bodies to look just nice and round like this. And they're eating lots of food. Uh, it's kind of funny. They, they start pounding the food when they are building and then all of a sudden they just quit. <laughs> it just goes cold and they don't want to eat anymore around that 20 millimeter uh, follicle size. But yeah, that's that's our Mojave girl that's being bred by the Mystic Potion. Uh, who else showing good signs? Someone else was soaking. I can't, oh, oh, I'm excited about this one. Now this girl's in shed, so she won't look amazing. But this is our banana cinnamon. Um, and her body, man, she's she's not, she's only just barely under two years old, I believe. But she is, already huge for her age. She's like, I think, 1,800, 1,900 grams. Looks fantastic. We're breeding her to a banana lace black back, hoping for some super bananas. I've talked about that before. Um, but she has also been showing good signs. And again, bedding is all shoved around. It's heaped up in the back, heaped up here in the front. And that's all gone there where they were racing around. They just been really active so yeah that's our update our males have been locking up just about every time now which uh, we like to see you know at the very beginning when we started throwing males in the end of November uh, every other time every third time maybe there'd be a lockup but now uh, they're kind of in the zone and the males are, are locking up with them pretty much every time uh, the youngest males aren't our spider desert ghost is still pretty wishy-washy and obviously the little uh, lavender male that's just you know 400 500 grams he he's we've only put him in twice he hasn't locked up yet but uh, that's to be expected but other than that everybody is doing awesome the breeding season's coming along great we're looking forward to starting to get in some eggs probably I don't know April that's when we started last year it might even be March the way some of these girls are looking uh, and we'll do a little thing on our incubator before that happens uh, we built it ourselves other than that, if you have any suggestions of videos you'd like to see, please let us know in the comments. Uh, it's easier for us to come up with videos to do uh, when there's suggestions. We feel like it's something that people will want to see. Um, in the meantime, uh, keep following us on social media. We're on Pinterest, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, our website, thereptilebarn.com. Uh, we're still making improvements there. Uh, just like here on YouTube, uh, hopefully uh, we start to see some of that improvement. But yeah, give us a follow, uh, send us any questions or comments and we'll get back to you. And we hope to see you soon. Thanks.